In this episode of Gear Drops, we're going to be discussing all things Ultim and Everyday Carry. What it is, why it's taking the EDC community by storm, and what this means for the gear that you're looking for in the near future. On top of that, we're going to go over every single piece of Ultim gear I have in the collection. Every piece has its story, believe it or not. And you'll be able to see my thought process behind it and see for yourself why 2023 is the year of Ultim. This episode is all about Ultim, Honeypot, Piss Plastic, Amber. It goes by many names, it's polarizing for some, but we can't deny that it's popping up in a lot of places within the EDC community. Fun fact, Ultim is a brand name for the thermoplastic polyethylamide. As it applies to the EDC community though, we love Ultim because it looks dope. I'm kidding, there's more to it than that, even though Ultim does look dope as f it's super strong, has its own Rockwell hardness rating, and is highly resistant to UV and heat. But perhaps the biggest reason why you're seeing Ultim scales on knives and on other pieces of everyday carry gear is because Ultim, from a functional standpoint, can be machined much thinner than other plastics. That way, you don't have to sacrifice weight for strength when considering Ultim as a material to incorporate into your gear. Alright, now that we've gotten that scientific mumbo jumbo out of the way, let's talk about the gear. First up is this little guy. This is the Pixel Co Honeypot Alt F, aptly named because it's fully machined out of Ultim. I mean, you can really tell that it takes full advantage of the capabilities of Ultim because there are a lot of intricacies and complex detail that's been machined into this thing. This thing rests solely in the fidget toy pocket art realm of everyday carry and it's a collector's piece. This was gifted to me by my boy, Anthony Diaz. As a fellow creative, we've had many delightful conversations about the creative process and He's a homie. So this thing has a special place in my heart, especially if you like Ultim. Super fun to fidget with. This thing is fun. The Combat Beads JW Tools Precision Driver version two. It is made out of Ultim and uh, it's funny. I had a conversation with Keith from Combat Beads about whether or not this plastic can really withstand the torsional forces that you're gonna be applying to it if you're using it as a screwdriver. Keith, the man himself told me that you don't have to worry about it's stripping because of torsional forces. So for the light to medium duty stuff you're gonna be using this for, Ultim is plenty strong. And of course, look at that beautiful machine, translucent aspect of it. I know they've got a V3 out already where the shaft here is a little thicker and hollowed out so that you can slide a few bits in there. The cap comes off via a magnetic mechanism. That way you can store your favorite and most frequently used bits here in the shaft. This is the Lottier EDC Mechanic C made in PEI. Now, we did discuss earlier that Ultima is a brand name for polyethylamide, and that's essentially what PEI is. It's just a non-branded version. Still the same Ultim, still the same material at the end of the day, just under a different name. You can already tell this is annoying, super annoying. However, this thing is really expertly designed. You can unscrew this and tweak how much it clicks or doesn't even click by unscrewing this top part here and you can add or subtract magnets into the walls here. So that way it's more resistant, it's less resistant, there's more click points, less click points. And you can really dial it in and make it your own. They've machined and finished the Ultim in different ways. So the outside here, if you can see, is very glossy. It's polished and even in the package it came with a buffing stone so that you can add more shine to it as you you know experience wear and tear on the inner circle it's matte finish or sandblasted or whatever to make it that matte finish so there's different textures at play here just in this little ring we have a series of pieces from workerman now workerman creates a lot of cool edc gear but these three are my favorite for obvious reasons this one is the bonehead in all ultim and it comes with a plug as well if you don't want to you know have this be it's sfk nature you can go ahead and just pop that in there and it's you know, no one's the wiser. Comes with a lanyard, an Ultim bead, and I picked this up off of my boy Ricky Hernandez, Captain Ricky, the Workerman Ultim key hook. Now this has been going around. He's made several runs of this. Um, I'm a key organizer nerd. You know, I've always been rocking my Orbit key KO, and it's a really good time when you're able to reduce, minimize the jingle in your keys, and really organize your keys that way. So when I saw this, 
I was uh, I was conflicted because you know it isn't an organizer it's just a key hook so you know maximum you put one or two keys in there hook it in as a part of your keychain assembly or configuration so I was like you know what it's made of Ultim I'm gonna give it a shot picked it up try to use it as a key organizer and it just it just didn't vibe with me. I couldn't I couldn't fly with it. However, it looks dope. <laughs> and the last of the trio is this Ultim Ghost B. This is the most recent pickup. Uh, they He dropped this maybe, Workman dropped this maybe last month. I saw the drop and I was like, yep, gonna go in on it. I haven't decided what I'm gonna put it on yet, but it's just a means for you to customize your EDC gear, whether that's on a knife or, you know, out of one of these eye sockets on the bonehead, even the Pixel Co. Alt F that we talked about earlier. Next up, we've got a knife lounge piece. This is a worry stone that has an interchangeable plate here. You can see the Ultim plate is on there, but undo those two screws and you can pop in any material that they have. I think at the table they had micarta, they had a titanium piece. There's different varieties, G10, you know, you just have to get the piece and put it on but you know of course the ultim caught my eye and on the back not only is it a worry stone but it does have a bottle opener as well so it's functional this next piece is a little bit of a collector's item as well this is the jrw high tech chips collaboration it's got the tough guy jrw graphic on one side and the jrw logo letters on the other but it's designed such that it takes advantage of Ultim's translucent qualities. You can see the JRW cloudy and translucent behind the tough guys that's designed. You can look through it into your soul and see JRW. <laughs> now, I'm not even a gambler, but this high tech chip looks cool. Like, I like the texture on it. Squid Industries, Squiddy A made in Ultim. Now, this one is for you hand dexterity nerds that wants to add a little bit of dexterity to your life, making your fingers, your hands more nimble. I can see this being a benefit through the years as you're getting older and, you know, arthritis wants to set in. Well, you gotta just say no. And by making that conscious decision, you're gonna be picking up one of these trainers and really practicing. Bruh. Obviously, you're gonna need to practice more than me, you know, so you don't do that. For now, just focus on pure technique with a lightweight trainer. I gotta get better at that, man. If I'm gonna keep talking about ballet songs and, and showing it in the videos and stuff, I gotta do the thing, you know what I mean? I can't just mess around and not do tricks properly, you know what I mean? All right, you gotta let me know. Are you team Ultim or are you team, I don't really like this weird amber translucent plastic looking stuff in my loadout? And which was your favorite piece? Let me know in the comments below. And if you're looking for a bag to put all this stuff in, catch my last video where I talked about a solid daily carry candidate going to school, whether you're going to the coffee shop or just doing anything in the field. All right. Take care. I hope you enjoyed this one. Live with purpose. Peace. <laughs> ah, I just dropped my hands on my crotch. Why did I do that? <sighs> Sweaty. And I can't have the AC on because like it makes a huge noise and then the sound quality starts to suffer and all that stuff. So I'm sweating guys. I'm sweating hard. We good? <laughs> oh my God, my knees. <laughs>